The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Train simulations might seem as safe and predictable as the 2036 to Blackpool North. After all, there's none of the thrills, spills and steaming of cars and planes as you chug along a preordained rail route. But Accolade and Electronic Arts gave the genre a fighting chance and an unusual France-based historical background with The Train Escape to Normandy. Its atmosphere is about as far from Hewson's nostalgic simulations, Evening Star and Southern Bell as you can imagine. But did the risk pay off? Let's dive right in and have a look. It's 1944 in World War II and you're an Allied agent. The Nazi regime has collected valuable art treasures from all around Europe and put them aboard a train to steal them back to Germany. Your task is to stop this happening and to return the train and its treasure back to the Allies. Desperate to prevent the disappearance of these treasures, the French resistance movement sends you, Pierre Le Fou, an engineer, and Le Duc, a train fireman, to hijack the train and take it back through German lines to the advancing Allies at Riviere. The game opens with you holding a gun. You're at Met station beside the train. The Nazis are holed up in the station, firing at you from the windows, trying to stop you from taking the train. Use the spacebar to duck enemy fire, but if the trail of enemy fire should hit you, it's game over already. Sounds bloody awesome so far, right? For all the controls and objectives for the game, I'll link the game manual in the description of the video, and it's not too much text, so definitely worth reading through. Now then, you need to take out all the enemies in the station, usually 25 of them. It's fairly challenging to do this, but happily, the soldiers in the station need to turn the lights on in their rooms whilst they shoot at you, making them an easy target. Cheers for that, fellas! Once they're all dead, you need to set the switch to change the rail points to decide which direction to send your train in. Basically, you're choosing the difficulty level that you wish to play, and you always begin in METS on the right hand side, and just need to navigate your way all the way over there to the Riviera. You're now inside the train itself, and you need to make it move. Use the joystick to move around all the different functions, which are explained in the manual, but we'll have a look at these briefly. There is the throttle, which basically controls how much steam is being let through to power your train. The MPH indicator will show how fast you're going. Closing the throttle doesn't stop the train, it just stops the power holding the speed up. There is the door to the boiler, which you can shovel coal into. This increases the temperature inside the boiler to make more steam. The temp indicator shows how hot it is, and it needs to be kept above halfway. There's the brake to stop your train. It's best to use this by toggling it on and off so you don't damage it or the treasure on board by stopping too fast. Next to that is the forward and reverse gear, so if you need to change the direction of the train you can do this. However, you might want to stop the train before putting it in reverse for obvious reasons. There's a steam venting device which will lower the steam pressure in the boiler. The PSI indicator shows this. Don't let it get below half though. Use this when the PSI indicator is right at the top, otherwise you might damage your engine. The steam pressure will also decrease when the throttle is fully open, as the steam is being used to move the train. The whistle. You use this when you get to a switch. Switches change the points, which change the direction of the train when you come to a track going in two directions. The green traffic light indicator will have a red light in it when you get to a switch. This will change when the track is changed over. Beside that is a water indicator. This automatically refills when you get to a station, but don't let it run out or else you won't be able to make steam to move the train. So what do you do? Release the brake and then put the throttle into the full power position. You begin moving, but while travelling along you might get a message that an enemy aircraft is attacking from the front or from the rear. To get to the front view screen press 1, to get to the rear view screen press 2. You're now on top of the train, holding a gun, and can shoot back at the aircraft. If you miss it, quickly flip to the other view. You may get it going away. I love this game. It's blooming awesome. 
Soon, it will show you that you are nearing the bridge in the bottom right hand of the screen, counting down from 9 kilometers, and will need to stop at 0 kilometers. But remember, you need to stop gradually, or else you'll break the artwork in the back of the train. The game will kindly show you from 9 kilometers from any location, giving you chance to slow down before you reach it. If you're travelling at full speed, it's quite a lot of work to stop in time. If you go through the bridge, you will die, as there are gunboats there waiting to intercept your train. When you stop, you'll now be positioned outside with the train gun, trying to sink each boat. If successful, you'll get back on the train, and soon you'll arrive at your next location, which is usually the next train station. Once you shoot out all the enemies in the windows, you need to go inside. There will be an intelligence report for you to read here, and you can get the resistance to take the next station so you don't have to have another shootout. Take the next bridge so there's no need to shoot those pesky gunboats, or repair your train at the next station. There are only a limited number of times you can do each thing, so choose wisely. When asking them to take out the next station, or a bridge, you no longer need to stop at them. You can go on straight through. Be sure to note the time they are doing it though, because if you're there before that, it'll still be in enemy hands. Additionally, the colours of locations change on the map view when they're not in enemy hands. Once you make it to Riviere, you've won. In the meantime, you're shooting down planes that are attacking you while you travel, arriving at stations and shooting people, trying to get your increasingly mangled train to keep going, and all of this against the clock. The train does bear many similarities to Accolade's other wartime classic, Ace of Aces, which I discovered when my brother bought the classic US Gold Solid Gold collection. Another great simulation, which obviously takes to the skies on this occasion, but still another very memorable title. Both games are, however, good fun indeed. Big thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you thought of The Train Escape to Normandy in the comments section. An epic game, which I think many will have loved, but if you're also loving the nostalgia, then do be sure to consider subscribing to the channel, and following me on this epic nostalgic journey down memory lane. With more and more titles to unlock some fantastic memories with, it'd be a pleasure for you to join me. Don't forget to check out the existing videos on the channel playlist in the meantime, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now.